What's up everyone, I'm Raijin and today we'll make a character analysis about one of the most important characters in One Piece world, the unsung hero, the legendary Kondoriano. We'll reveal his identity, his potential devil fruit and talk about his greatness. And let's go! <laughs> Condoriano pretends to be a marine with a name separate, but in reality he is a descendant of the D family who also carries the will of D as his real name is Con Dioriano. He works as a commander in marine headquarters in order to search and provide precious information about Poneglyph's location, the history of the Void Century and about ancient weapons to Monkey D Dragon, cause Condoriano is a double agent. In reality, he's a revolutionary. His father was on Goldie Rogers' crew, so he knows a lot and decided to help Dragon overthrow the world government. He also uses his title of the Marine Commander in order to save the Straw Hats from great danger and difficult situations. Situations like the one on G8 Marine Base, where even the vice captain of the Straw Hats, Roro Noah Zoro, couldn't do a thing as he was captured by the great strategist and Marine Vice Admiral Jonathan. Condoriano is a genius. He's a genius in making plans as he managed to enter the base even though there was a lockdown and no ships were allowed to enter. He met with Robin, gave her his clothes pretending to be attacked by her just to be captured by the marines, meet with Zoro and Sop and tell them how to escape. And if you wonder how the Straw Hats knew about Condoriano, it's because Go Dio Sop already met him in one of his legendary adventures. <laughs> ああ、取り調べの余地もない。な、何が決まったというのだ。待て、私はどうするつもりだ。待て、待てというのがわからんのか。コントレアノ、え、ガー。コントレアノって誰？ just look at the smile on his face when he met with his old friend. Then as a genius he is, he manages to convince marines to let him free as he planned. And now we'll see why Condoriano was the real MVP of that arc. While Strohads were in trouble again, Condoriano pulls out his personal weapon, the Eagle Launcher, pretending to not know he was holding it backwards, launches a rocket to the marines, making way for the Strohads to escape. And just before their escape with their flying balloon, the Vice Admiral Jonathan was ready to open fire with his cannons and bring them down. But Condor Yano, with his portable ancient weapon, fires first and destroys the cannon outsmarting Vice Admiral Jonathan and helping his friends to escape from G8 Marine Base. And that's why the legendary Condor Yano was the unsung hero of that arc. And now it's time for the theories. There are many theories about him, so I'll only mention two with the greatest chance to be true. The first one is about him having the power of Gias Gias no Mi. For those who haven't watched Code Gias, this fruit gives you the ability to command people with eye contact. And maybe that's how he manages to order marines so easily. Also, it must be mentioned that you must be a genius to use that power properly. And of course, as a legend he is, he can use all three types of haki all of them in their advanced form. The other theory is that his minions and weapon Eagle Launcher can also fire lightning strikes, and as Dragon's right hand man, he was the one who saved Luffy from the notorious Captain Buggy the Clown in Logtown. And now you know the truth behind one of the legendary figures of One Piece World. And that's it for today guys, hope you liked the video and if you love Condoriano, share this video to let the whole world know the truth about his legacy. Comment down below more theories about him and make sure to subscribe to my channel cause more legends will come. Until next time...